In this video, I'm going to show you how to automatically log into a user without entering your password, as well as how to create a new user without any password whatsoever. And finally, how to remove a password from a current account. And no, if you're trying to do some illegal shit, you still need to know what the password is before you can remove it. So let's get right into it. Alright, so in this first method, I'm going to show you how to make Windows 10 not ask for your password when you're starting up your PC. It will still be asked if you log off or switch users, but this will make your startup process a lot faster. First off, you need to open up your start menu and type in run to open up the run prompt. And then in the text box, type in netplwiz and then press OK. This will open up a user accounts uh, properties box and from there all you need to do is uncheck this little box here. Once you've done that, then click on apply or OK and you'll be greeted with this uh, pop-up. And in this pop-up you need to type in the username of the user you want to automatically log into when your PC starts up. So in this case I'm going to type in techdipvault which is another user on this PC and then just type in the password for that user. If you typed in the correct password, next time you start up Windows, you will not be prompted for any passwords, you will just get straight in. Next, I'm gonna show you how to prevent Windows from asking you for your login credentials after it's been in sleep mode. And to do that, type into the search bar sign in options and open it up. And then here you will see a require sign in title in the middle. And just make sure the drop down is selected to never, otherwise it will ask you for your password. So if it's never, you won't be asked for anything when you come back from being AFK. And finally, in this next section, I'm gonna show you how to create a new Windows user with no password, as well as how to remove a password from an existing user. But note that in that case, you need to know what the current password is, otherwise it's not gonna work. So first, to make a new account with no password, in the same sign in options on the left side, go to family and other users. Then under other users in the middle, click on the plus sign next to add someone else to this PC in order to create a new user. Once this pop up is loaded, click on the link that says I don't have this person's sign in information to create a local account instead of a email sign in garbage and then click on the bottom link to add a new user without a Microsoft account. Lastly, the only thing you need to do is just select any name for that new user and you're done. Just don't put anything in the password fields and this way you won't need a password to log in and it's done. And one thing you might want to do is click on the new user and change account type if you want to make it an administrator just in case, why not? And then you're done. Now in order to remove the password for the user you're currently signed in as, go to the same sign in options as, as before and then click on the password section. From there you can open up the changing password prompt by click on the change button. And here you need to know the current password in order to remove the old one, so just type it in. And then in the next section just don't type in anything and that will basically remove any password you had before and then just finish up the prompt and you're done. Now your this user will no longer require a password for anything. Finally, a little hint, if you don't want to use the netplwiz method to select which user signs in automatically when you next start up your PC, then log into that user and just shut down your PC as Windows will then automatically sign into the user that was last selected when you shut down your PC. That might not be very elegant, but it is what it is. I recommend using the first method instead as it's a lot more clear and you get more control over what exactly is happening. Now, if you found this interesting or if you have any problems, just leave a comment and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.